welcome to the channel guys yard man farming tv so today guys i'm gonna show you how we plant corn in jamaica in the backyard you know backyard farming is very important also we go organic way so guys keep on watching so this is my corn yeah man holy uh, corn guys so they made the hybrid corn this is not the sweet corn yeah man this is the hybrid So guys, I am preparing the hole for the car. So this is my car, guys. So if you want, all depends on what you're looking for. So. You can use one to three corn instead of the whole, guys. So, I'm using three corn today, guys. Four. I will be using four corn today. So, you can wait for three to four days or five days for germination. Depends on the type of seeds. Okay, you know you have hybrid seed, guys, and also you have the local seeds. So it all depends on the seeds you are planting for germination. So guys, this is about seven days of germination, guys. So as a farmer, you have to plant a lot of corn. And also if you're raising goats and cow, it is very important because you know, bag feeding is very expensive. Sometimes we have to improvise and also sometimes we always do cut and carry grass but sometimes it's kind of difficult for us sometimes so we always try to improvise and plant corn. So guys when you're planting your corn sometimes you have a lot of pests like the bugs and stuff and also we have a way how we use to remove all those pests from our corn and also we use ashes ashes it is very important for the soil it also have a lot of nutrients in it so when i use it on the corn it repel all those insects from it because you know when you have a lot of corn a lot of bugs tend to bite up the leaves mowing is very important it's about two weeks or so you need to mold your corn so you're gonna see a bigger growth in your corn guys so this is what we call molding so you will see the quality in about three weeks you will see the different sizes guys so molding is very important so guys in the backyard in the water you light our fire and you know from the fire you get ashes so guys it is very good for our plant so It's a good fertilizer guys and also repel insects. So I'm gonna show you how I put it on my plants. So keep on watching. So guys as you can see you see a lot of insect bites look at it so we are going the organic way guys look at it a lot of insect bites so in this bucket right here i use it and sprinkle over it it's very good for the plant guys very organic way So 
more time we light the fire, we waste it. We waste the ashes. So just use it up in the backyard farming, guys. Also, I have some sweet peppers here, guys. This is this is my sweet pepper nursery. Sometimes they have a lot of bugs. A lot of bugs disturbing the plants also. Very helpful guys. So guys, if you learn something from Yardman Farming TV guys, you can also subscribe to the channel and big up on yourself anyone I watch from Yard and Abroad. One love, our one heart.